we are here at the Forbidden Forest, where we will take a look at all the different types of nature. Now, as we call these things by their specific names, we will have to call them by their agreed upon names, so as not to confuse viewers. The agreed upon name is thought up through a process called taxonomy, in which we use two Latin words in a binomial system, the genus and the species. In naming, the genus is a noun and the species is an adjective. The genus, written down, is normally capitalized while the species has a lowercase letter. In many closely related organisms, they share the same generic name but differ with the species name. In biology, there are far too many things to sort out and manage. Therefore, a classification system is essential. Without it, it would be near impossible to organize our ideas and make generalizations. Classification must be flexible in order to allow newly discovered organisms and fossils to be able to be categorized. For example, this in its local language would be called the Japanese red pine. However, here in its local language, it would be called Akamatsu. This could cause confusion. Therefore, we call it the Pinus P. Densiflora. You see, taxonomy uses seven groups. The species is grouped into the genus. The genus is grouped into the family. The family is grouped into the order. And the order is grouped into the class, which is then ordered into the phylum, which is then grouped into the kingdom. Let's see how that would work with a pine tree. You see, biologists all over the country, no, all over the world use this system. It is an internationally agreed upon system where each animal and each plant is given a name which we can all recognize. So how would you classify a brown bear? Well, a brown bear or a Bruin would be classified like this. And that leaves us with the genus and the species, giving us the name Ursus Arctos. Well, an Ursus Arctos is coming right at us! <gasps> what happened? Remember this mnemonic. Knights protect countrymen over. <laughs>